Back at the office, Jerry, I love the mustache. You guys, new guy, whatever, yeah. Woo, it is good back to be in Los Angeles, New York. And man, have I got a bad sunburn on my behind. The nudist colonies of the Norwegian slopes, you know, it doesn't get any better than right now. Am I right, Jerry? Am I right? Jerry's not even okay, wearing so any clothes. Okay, so Mr. Just back, uh, back to the meeting. Who's this new guy? Okay, yeah. Anyway, I just have a proposition. You got an idea? We got, yes, I do. Uh -huh. I was thinking we should hire some ex-cons for, for our business. Some ex-cons, like yeah. from Connecticut? Or they, they're no longer no, there? No, those that were formerly incarcerated. In people, prison. Jerry, what does that mean? Oh, like, I people, think that's a good idea. Pri I think prisoners. That's a good idea, yeah. Do, they have, do we have to pay them if they're prisoners? Yes, they're still, they're still people, they get paid. But it would still be a big tax write-off. Oh, well, a tax write-off? Okay, yeah, okay. More money. I'm thinking money. I just had an idea. What if we hire ex-cons for a big tax write-off, huh? Okay. How about that, Jerry, yeah? What do you guys think? Sure. Okay, who here is an ex-con? Not you, you're fired. Uh, Jerry, you can stay. Come back when you've been incarcerated. Um, okay, so would you like me to good, get the guy good. to talk to you? Yeah, yeah, bring him in, bring him in. I'll just be uh, in my palace. Got it. Hello. Hey, Mr. Woodchuck. Mr. Woodchuck. Chuck. It's, yeah. Chuck. Chuck. Chuck, 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 Chuck. I, I'm sitting Come you. on in, Johnny. I'm sorry. Johnny Boombox. How do you, it's not Boombox. That's what it's, my note says. It says Boombostic. Not Boombox. James Bambi. No, it's John Boombostic. All right. Well, take a seat, Mr. Bombay. You, uh, you want me to sit in this chair? Right? This chair is small. This is our finest chair. Let me tell you a story. You know what I do every morning? Please tell me, I, Mr. Woods. I wake Please up tell. and I have a cheese omelet with turkey bacon, green bell peppers, and onions. I get a big glass of papaya juice. But do I really have to hit it? I just want to know if you're going to hurt Then I take a hot shower, do all of my hygiene, and go for a long walk on the beach with my best friend, my wife, Denise. That sounds so family. Anyways, um, I'm thinking we could hire you for about $4 an hour. How does that, that why, sound? Is that why you told me that story? Uh, Yeah, I'm just... Stories of success. You work your way to the top. From four dollars an hour to uh, they paying fifteen for a minimum wage. You only work for well, four. Well, that's Amazon. You, 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 that's pretty big deal stuff. I don't know if uh, I'm worth it. I'm worth fifteen. Your position could you work at mean? Amazon. This year we're just a you know little giant well, I'll corporation. Be honest, well, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know if I newspapers. I don't know if I want to take the job four dollars an hour. Uh, well, how about four fifty? I, I don't. I might have to talk to your parole officer. Oh, did you, you say know? parole agent? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the, going to take that job. Uh huh. I don't that need no problem with a parole like agent. Like a plan. Yes. You Great. Really, you really would call? Oh, no problem. I'll yeah. take the job, Mr. Well, Blue. It, Mr. Mr. Wood, Chuck, Chuck. Yeah, I'll Mr. Take the job. Bomb, bomb though. It's boombastic. Boombastic. Okay, blam bass. Oh, I will God. see you bright and early tomorrow. Uh, really happy that you'll be tax written off with us. Yes. And um, it's a big, yeah. big tax um, right off. Yeah, you enjoy. Enjoy your time here. Um, How long do I have to work here? I I think that's uh, that's the contract's going to be written up by Jerry uh, over Ooh. here. So he'll where's, let you know. Where's Jerry? Jerry's right here. He's, I don't see That's him. You don't see Jerry. He's... I don't. He's oh. just telling me this hilarious story. Oh, um, oh, this, oh! You that guy? Oh, yeah, yeah I see Jerry. Yeah, I see. Hi, uh -huh. hi Jerry. Can I yeah. say hi? hi, Jerry? Well, okay. Jerry told you to shut up. But, oh, let me shut uh, up. No yeah. problem. Um, okay, you said um, parole. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm not sure what his deal is, but uh, no problem. I'm sorry. Can why I... are all these babies yelling? There's like, are we in a Target? Listen, can, like, can I? Can I leave? How many toys oh, do my you God, need? I'm go crazy. Can are I you giving? I'm, I'm sorry. Mr. Woodchuck. Someone get this baby out of here. Mr. Woodchuck. He's bothering my friend Jerry. Oh, my God. All right, Mr. Boombox, we will see you tomorrow. 
um, your contract should be prepared and ready, uh, you know, and, and we'll, we'll send in the mail or, or something like that. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me go. Yeah, you enjoy. Okay, do I have to dress up or can I just come as a... Well, will you bring me a papaya juice when you come back? Sure. All right, all right, great. Yeah, I'll great. mail it to you. I mail mail it. me the papaya. No problem. All right, well, you have a nice to, day. Yeah, don't juice it beforehand because it's going to get brown and it's just... I don't want it to, like, sit uh, okay, out. Okay, no problem. No yeah, problem. yeah, okay. You, you have a good day, All right, sir. bye. Bye now. I'm so happy we're having this meeting today. We actually got some submissions for our newspaper company from right. Antoine from Macomb Correctional Facility. That's good. Um, he created a script where we're talking about two friends that won the lottery. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, I can't believe we won $100,000. I know, right? What do you want to spend it on? I don't know, man. I have so many thoughts. What do you think this is going on? I was thinking about buying some zoo animals so I could start a circus. What? Yeah! We can put it in my backyard and dress up like clowns uh, so all of the kids can have fun. Oh, God. So you tell me at the age of 40, you want to dress up like a clown? No, I, I want to buy the animals. Well, I was thinking on spending the money buying a 24 hour open restaurant. This way people could eat all day. How are we going to decide who spends the money? Let's have a laughing contest. Whoever lasts the longest decides who will spend the money. And I'll tell you what, if I win, we can still buy the animals to cook. <laughs> uh, we got another submission from Darius from a poem as well. Um, he wrote a submission about a superhero he created. My superhero would be Compassion Man. And my superpowers would be to give out compassion to those who lack it and also need it. Compassion is so hard to find these days, even with family and without the quid pro quo. My enemy wouldn't be anyone because my targets would also include the heartless, the evil, and the deadly. My tactics would be love, understanding, and guidance. Great, great job. Great yes, job. Great, great job. job. Great great job. job. I think you guys are pretty done a good job. Yeah. Mr. Wood, Chuck, Chuck, I think it would be great to implement that in the papers. Yeah, we just go all positive. Um, let your employees know that they're valued part of the meeting. What are you and now, um, I think, yeah, that the main headline should be, let's see here, um, Eagle versus Pulverizer, uh, you know, they're teaming up to help people who live in Juarez, Mexico, and migrants passing through now that this is it's a great idea, but maybe not for this newspaper. Um, Suzuki. Mr. Mr. Woodchuck, I want to ask you, can we get a pay raise, man? I mean, uh, come oh, on, man. I've been working here for two months. Pay raise? Yeah. Pay more oh, money? More money. I cannot make it on 4 dollars an hour, man. You had me work 12 hours a day for $4.50 an hour. And then when it comes to get paid, uh, you cut my check. Talk about you charging me for drinking water. Yeah. Are you for real? Uh, so. I can't give any of you a pay raise. Why you can't give us a pay we raise? We don't have any money. You don't have any money. You just lost your fifth house yesterday. Well, yes, I actually have to go to talk to my realtor about my sixth house that I'm buying. So we're going to end this meeting. Good conversation, everyone. And um, Are you going to give them a pay raise? There's no money. You guys are... Terrible employees. It's going to stay the way it is. Um, you know. Well, I thought you wouldn't be making no money. Don't get your hopes up for anything other than continuing to do your jobs. Um, Can I quit? Can I quit? Yeah, no. No, I, uh, we need you around. Tax straight off guy. Wow. We'll see you guys later. You're, you're doing great. Great oh work. Oh, my God. How long have you going? Is Jerry here? Y'all see Jerry? I don't even know who Jerry is. Yeah, He's talking true. to Jerry every single day, but Jerry is nice. Oh, yeah, you guys a long time. time. <sighs> we got to make him give us a paper. Did you see how nervous he got when he was talking about clowns? Yeah, I don't think he likes oh, clowns. You know what? Y'all could be right. We're going to find out. Mm -hmm. We're going to make him give us a paper. Definitely. Yeah. All right, so we, we'll, we'll table this conversation mm -hmm. to later. All right. Hey, so. I was just calling you. We're in a staff meeting right now and, you know, some concerns have been coming up and, you know, I just have a couple questions for you. Yeah, of course. I'm here to help. 
Thank you. So, Mr. Woodchuck, does he have any like soft spots? He's been kind of a jerk lately. Like, like what's what's his problem? Oh my gosh, he's always been that way. He's been a jerk for years because he's just always been so spoiled. Um, but it got worse when his wife left him. Um, they were together for years, and it was the only thing that made him happy until she finally got tired of being treated badly, so she left. Wow. Um, but you're looking for a soft spot. Yeah, you know, like any way that we could, you know, get to him. I don't know, maybe not in a two part, but you know, anything. There could be one thing. Yeah. There was something when he was a child, his parents took him to, to this place. It was called Winter Wonderland. And he was so excited to go and to see Santa and to feed the reindeer. But then mm. this one reindeer, Rudolph with the red nose, it ran up to him super fast and it tried to bite his hand, thinking his like hand was food. And that scarred him for life. Now mm. he gets terrified whenever he sees a red nose even. There was a Christmas party a couple of years ago at the office and somebody came wearing a red nose and he fired them right on the spot. Interesting. That's some good information. We might use that. You could. I mean, he deserves to be taught a lesson. He's been just not a great person for years. Man. Ask him if he got any, own anything. Does he own anything? Yeah, does he have any? Like, how's his accountant look like? Does he have any taxes? Does he own any properties? He's always talking about that, you know, that's one of his main conversations. He does own several properties, but he he's kind of a, a deadbeat landlord. He doesn't really um, tend to any of his clients or um, pay his taxes properly. I shouldn't be telling you this, but... Uh, that's crazy. Well, thanks for telling us. Yes, it was so nice meeting with you. Um, we'll be in contact soon, for sure. Great. I can send my assistant over to help you if you need. Oh, that would be great. Of course. All right. Well, I'm glad that I was able to help, and I hope that you're able to teach him a lesson. Thank you. Will do. Okay. Thank you. Guys, um, hey, 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 we got you some doing? more submissions for our newspaper company. Yeah. yeah. We That's got great. Jared from Macomb. Mm-hmm. And this prompt was on an embarrassing reason to go to the doctor. So let's oh, play this wow. out. All right, let's talk about this. Yeah. Mr. Simpson, why are you here today? First, I want to say, treat. People. First, I want to say that people told me you are the best doctor for this. Well, I do know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. No, you might have not seen this before. Try me. What's wrong? Well, you know my last name is Simpson. Yeah. Well, I always was going around saying, nobody lay a hand on my butterfinger. You know, like Bart Simpson says. And last night, I got drunk and woke up with this fake butter stick super glued to my finger. And it won't come off. Now everyone's calling me Butterfinger. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen this before. Are you sure you want me to lay a hand on your Butterfinger? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That, that was, was good. good. That was good. All right, the next one we got is a submission from Gregory, also from a comb. And the prompt was a restaurant in a city that he's never visited. Mm -hmm. On the second day of my visit to Belize, Sasha invited me out to dinner. Things are a lot different from my hometown in Poland. This restaurant sat in between a yoga studio and a library on a very busy street. I sat at her table by the window, awaiting her arrival. Sasha was always late for everything. I was in trouble, by the way, because Juan, the waiter for her table, kept the breadsticks and wine coming. I, I sat at the family, by a family in the corner close to the entrance to the kitchen, giving little Miguel plenty of access to extras. Then I called out Sasha as she came in from the hot sun. We embraced. I pulled her out for a hug and we caught the latest news. Sasha shared her engagement story and I shared my work-related visit info. That's great. Yeah. That's, that's good. good. I, I don't see why he would have a problem put that in the newspaper. I agree. I, I like you it. Know, I, the newspaper. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. We need to give more publicity to guys who've been incarcerated. Yeah, they got really good stories. Right. So I, I, today is the day that we're going to teach Mr. Woodchuck a lesson. Oh, so yeah. listen, mm -hmm. listen, I'm going to be wearing a costume. And y'all just act like y'all don't see me make him think he's crazy. Okay. So I think today we're going to do what he do with me. Call him crazy. Yeah, oh, that's great. You know, I, I, you know we're going to get back on him today. Today is the day. 
That's so right. Listen, don't tell him I don't give me up and say I'm the one that did it. But we're going to teach him a lesson today. Oh, yeah. He should probably be here in about five minutes. All right. Sounds good. That sounds good. All right. I'm going to go get ready for the costume. Got it. I'm All ready. Right. Right. Board meeting. Big more board, board, board meeting. Right, guys? Right. Woo! Yes. Yeah. You know, Jerry, they used to call me at uh, Macomb, uh, this guy Matthew, he'd call me the big Mipso of Wall Street. I mastered the art of stocks and trading, and now look at me, my own company, this newspaper. What do we got today, guys? What's going on? I know Jerry's got great ideas. Don't know who the rest of you are. Oh my God, and what is going on with the top of your head? What hat? What are you talking about? about? This, the, this hat. I don't have a hat. It's too I much hat. Do anybody see a hat on my hat? I don't, I don't have don't see a hat. No, oh, nobody sees a hat. Okay, let's just. Let's just get on with the meeting. Okay. Some, somebody bring some ideas. Oh, from I, I, had a good, I, had, I had a good idea, yeah. actually. I was thinking um, maybe you could put a zoo in your backyard and then um, feed the animals with drones. Mm. And we could pick an elephant from the zoo and sponsor it to go to college. That's like, a great idea. We could raise idea. money. I, I think that's a good idea. My sunglasses too. Yeah, I saw great and, and I, Mr. Okay. Mr. Woodchuck, I have an idea. Uh -huh. Why don't you get me like a UFO still like a up in ET and I can take the UFO and zoom through the hood. Oh. You know what I mean? Playing DMX. D so cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ride with me, ride with me, yeah. ride with me, ride with me. DMX. Uh, and guess what? We can fund every prisoner's account in the world. I think yeah. you you can do you that. You can do that, Mr. Lynch. You got your man. After you sponsor the right. elephants, you After can use the money to get um, my are there, are, there are, there are, there are there elephants in the building? This is, oh God, this is too much. What, what are you talking you about? We're going to table problem. this meeting Why you for today. I thought it was pretty good. I wonder if I'm going to here without hats on and elephants. There's no hat. There's no hat. There's no hat. I'm in a target with babies running wild! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Mr. Woodchuck, I was told you want to speak with me in your palace. John! Yes? It's wonderful to see you. I'm sure you know why you're here. Please, have a seat. No problem, Mr. Woodchuck. No, I don't know why I'm here. John, you no see idea. this bowling ball? Yes, sir. Well, I got it at auction for Christie's for a couple of sweet Benjamins, 500G, if you know what I mean. I thought, no, I don't and know. I make 450 now. Every I day I look at this and I think about the empire I built for myself from the ground up. Just like Marcel Duchamp built the many art objects that I thought you said you have he made. created ready made. Oh, yeah. 500000 for football. Oh, John! We both know why you're here. I don't know why. Why am I here? Oh, that don't sound good. Stop playing games with me, John. What games are you talking games, about? Games, John. You like games? But no, I don't, Mr. Woodchuck. What are you saying? Mr. Boombox. I know what's going on here. I see you sneaking around. Yeah, that's Jerry. That's not me. That's Jerry. Revolt. Jerry is a friend and a confidant. Okay, no problem. I apologize. I don't want no problem now, with you and Jerry. I, I don't. No more speaking of Jerry Maguire in my presence. Anyways, this is about you and me, John. We're going to have to settle this, and we're going to settle it my way. What way is you that? See, I happen to know a very famous and influential politician who also happens to hate prisoners oh, and ex-prisoners. Oh, wow. And I didn't want to have to do this, but oh, yes, you did. if you these did. games do not stop and we do not return to normal here, I'm going to have to get him involved. No, you don't want that, right, John? I, I, that's I, great. I, I, I don't that's want what that. I like to do here. I haven't done it. Yes, sir. No problem. I don't want no problem. So, amazing. We are going to have big changes around here. Big changes, John. I am so excited. I am going on a big trip out of town. I need you to get me F.A. Bring her here. We're going on a trip. When I get back, oh. there will be big, big, big news. 
Pigness. So let me get this straight. You just threaten me uh -huh. with freedom, and you want me to go get FA. Yes. And if I don't get FA, what happens? I don't. The employee handbook doesn't say anything about what I'm supposed to do or not do, but I think we all know you gotta do what I tell you. <laughs> all right, no problem, Mr. Wood. <laughs> Watch up. Watch up. Thanks, John. Thanks for coming in. It's always, uh, it's always a pleasure. Let me play you out real quick. So where are we going, Mr. Woodchuck? Where am I driving you to? Well, don't, don't interrupt me. I'm on the phone. Yeah, Joey. Yeah, the so, Las so Vegas is canceled. We're, we right? need to go right. Right, right oh, now. Sorry, sorry. Just... And then the whole supermarket was full. Give me a second. What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Effie, what is that? Is that John? I can't take my eyes off the road. Why is he there with a balloon and the hair? Are you okay? There's nothing. There's nothing I've seen. Are you okay? Oh my god! Are you okay? Is that John? Yeah, that's John. Oh my god! Is that John? Yeah, that's John. Oh my god! We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Family! Corporate uh, employees, you guys know I love you, and I wanted to bring you out here today to show you how important I am. Boom! I just bought Canada. This is all mine now, so I will not be around as much. I'm gonna be soaking up the Canadian sun. Just one one moment, boom box. Gotta get, gotta get. Just want to just like make sure we get. You know, everyone on the same page here, you know. I'm not leaving, leaving. You know, I, I'm still gonna be your boss and pay you sometimes, but I'm just gonna be enjoying the beautiful Canadian weather while you guys are stuck here. So I gotta make sure we got articles ready for this coming season. We got big articles that need to be coming out. Who's got, who's got plans? I got some, I got some. All right, so we have James from McCone, and he created a superhero, okay? So, he said, Mind Rap was born in Detroit. His powers are big. His parents abandoned him when he was young, and his gift is that he wasn't normal. He was adopted by a good family that showed him many things in that they cared for him. He played sports in school, and he went on to major in science. He wanted to try learning more about, how, about his abilities to live a normal life. He has a girlfriend, but no kids. And he has a little apartment downtown that they share. So he's trying to, that's interesting, he's trying to figure out what to do. I like that, that's really good. Great, great. We have Jeremiah, also from McComb. His, this is about his dream production, okay? This is interesting, we can incorporate this. My dream production would be a petting zoo where you can come to see wild animals and ride some rides that you can ride normal rides or extreme rides. There would be a lot of different music, face painting, games, clouds, all kinds of folks to eat. It would be some big it would be some big property for back in the forest. It would be fun and so amazing for kids and if you will if you seem bored, bring your pets. It will light up at night with some dancers as well. No, I like that. I like that. What's that? That was Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Hey, Jer Jerry, get, get this Jeremiah guy on the phone. I want to invest, but no clowns, right? Okay. We're going to take that out, but this is good. This is good. I like the dancers and the petting zoo part. Okay. No clowns. We got one more for today. This is about Mario, his perfect day. Mario's perfect day would be getting up early in his hometown. Taking a shower, then exercising, or exercising, then taking a shower, eating a good breakfast, playing music, sharing the day with his friends and family, going to an amusement park, and then eating delicious treats. That's great. That's a that is a great day. You know, it reminds me of every day that I have, because every day is beautiful. And I just want us all, you know, before I leave you, take a moment just breathe in this Canadian wind. Yeah, 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 boom, 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 bo
No, so I'm okay. Can you can you give us a pay raise, Mr. Pay raise, I was in uh you wanna pay me for out I I'm from Canada. I can't yeah. hear you over the Canadian wind. It's I'm just can gonna I quit. I'm gonna let me quit. just take Since a you get hit by red look out into the Canadian Kathleen is coming to see us today. Um, we haven't seen her too much. I've been here too much. So the accountant is coming to see us today. Said she got something to tell us. I don't know what it is. So, yeah. Oh, hi. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hi. Yeah, I'm uh, Mr. Wichuk's accountant. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, so we, if we buy it, we can fire him. Yes. Definitely absolutely. a no-brainer. Yeah. Definitely a no Let's do it. Go. So, Centrea, now we can implement prisoners statements in our, yeah, new, our absolutely. newspapers. All the great So, can things. you break us down? Yes, we actually got two road. more today. Please. So, we have Matthew, and he's talking about an embarrassing reason that he went to the doctor. <laughs> so, he had a little incident in the bathroom. He was sitting on the toilet and it wasn't coming out. He was having trouble concentrating and had to push rather hard. Oof. It came out all right, but more than he expected. Now he has this pain in his butt that won't go away. Well, Doc, that's just what it is, he says. I looked up the definition and the dictionary says, pain in the butt. Dr. Hyde says, sir, you can just remove part of it yourself. For now, try a laxative and, and quit pushing. A little gradually, you can retreat it yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and then we have Morris, and he's talking about something that made him happy and things that he's looking forward to. He says, something that made me happy this week was getting his sore bag with 10 packs of coffee. Coffee is very good and it makes me feel good also. I have several things I've ordered and cannot wait to get them. Some nice new books. A nice new boots and a new book. That's right. That's well, nice. thank you. I want to say you guys, it was awesome. And uh, we just going to make the company go better. Yeah. yeah I mean, you could buy it with us if you want. I would. Oh, yeah. I thank you. Okay, so we're going we to take this to a new journey. Mm -hmm. Mr. Woodchuck, yep. oh, you're fired. Yes. 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 Bye bye, Mr. Woodchuck. Hi Workshop, um, I'm Skylar and I've had a really amazing experience working with all of you and I've really loved receiving your responses to the packets. You all had such incredible ideas and you have such creativity and creative minds and I've really enjoyed getting to know you all through your writing. I, I wish that we'd had the opportunity to meet each other in person and to do really fun theater games and crazy things in that way. But even through just your drawings and your responses, I felt like I got to know each of you so well. And I'm really glad that we came into each other's lives. And I really appreciated how open and committed you were to all of the questions that we gave you and all of the activities we gave you to do. And um, I'm really excited for you to hopefully see our final project and what we did with all of your responses. And I want to thank you again for being such wonderful people. And you were such great people to have in this workshop. And I really enjoyed it. So thank you all so much. So my name is Centrea. Um, I really wish that we had the opportunity to meet in person, but 
I still felt very connected with each and every one of you through the packets over the last few weeks. Um, every day I would like be checking our Google Drive to see if we got responses. And every time we got responses, like I would just be so happy. My heart would be so full. Um, all of you are so very creative. Um, and I can tell that you, each of you have um, a lot to offer to the world. And I'm blessed that I had the opportunity to work with you all this semester. Um, I hope that you all also enjoyed the packets um, and felt like you guys got something out of it. Um, PCAP and just interacting with you guys every week has been the highlight um, of my days every week. And I'm very sad that it's coming to an end. But just know that all of you have a place in my heart for the rest of my life. And I'll always be think of you, thinking of you guys and others in, in, um, and others inside. So thank hey you. everyone. Um, working on this theater workshop with PCAP has honestly been one of the highlights of my school semester. Every week, I've looked forward to meeting with my group to come up with ideas for next week's packet and to go over the responses that we received. I was always blown away by the creative and hilarious stories and images that we got in responses to our prompts. And despite the lack of in-person interaction, it was still amazing to form a connection with you all. On this semester, I learned so much through working with PCAP and it's really changed my perspectives on the incarceration system and the people within it. I'm now really looking forward to the end of the pandemic so I can continue to do prison art workshops, but in person instead. So I wanna thank you so much for making this experience so special for me. And this is from FA. Thank you. Uh, this is Zach here. Um, I just wanna pop in and tell you guys how much I enjoyed working with you this semester. Um, I have a lot of gratitude for all of you guys and all the effort you put into these packets every week. Um, despite all of the um, ways that I, you know, can't even imagine um, that, you know, have, could make it really difficult on the inside. And I just want to really highlight that you guys, um, you guys are awesome. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful that I got to be a part of it. Um, it definitely brought me into a more creative mindset and gave me an opportunity to um, uh, just hear, hear a lot of stories and come up with stories of my own. And um, I hope that the film that we created uh, using your guys' responses really highlights uh, the work you guys did and brings it to life theatrically. Um, I know I had a lot of fun making it um and uh i hope that you guys are able to um keep using those uh prompts and and the theater that you've created in there to uh put on your own productions and that uh you know hopefully in the not too near future or not too far future <laughs> we'll be able to be in person and uh work together on a new performance so um Thanks again uh, from Zach here and I uh, wish you all well. Hello everyone, this is Mark X, um, formerly incarcerated. I wanna say equally as well, I enjoyed the workshop, man. Um, I was once where you guys are. You know, I was sitting in the chairs, watching the TV in the day rooms, eating the town hall food, uh, taking the showers and <laughs> doing count time. And I always had a vision of doing what I'm doing now that is acting and performing and being around people who promoted those who are formerly incarcerated. But PCAP gave me the opportunity to do that, particularly when I was released. I started PCAP while I was in there. And from there, I just began to blossom and believe that I could be somebody. And the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because you have the opportunity to be greater than what you are. We believe in you. Everybody in the PCAP program believe in you but you got to believe in yourself. We love you. We enjoy working, reading your package, receiving your information. Um, please don't think it was just a fly by night thing. It's not, you know, um, we just want you to know that you are somebody and you got to stay focused on your goals and objectives, even though it could be a little difficult at times. And I clearly, I understand it, but that doesn't mean that you allow that to define you, you define it. Take the time that you have in there, focus on your goals and objectives. You stay focused on that. Walk the yard, work out in the weight pit, go to the library, read books, do things that's gonna help you become a better person once you are released from incarceration. 
and know that you are somebody. Um, I just want to say thank you again for the opportunity. Do the we, we enjoyed the movie. Um, I can't thank uh, everyone enough for doing it. Um, I, I just feel privileged, and I, I I'm, I'm just like almost like in, shook up about this because I never thought that I would be able to give back to you guys while you was incarcerated. Again, I believe in you. No. None of us here have to because we love you and we believe in you. So please believe in yourself. Let me hear that you got in the PCAP program, you got out, and you became a great actor and a great director. We hope that you enjoy the movie that, that we did. Uh, we Very comical. Very, it, it's awesome. Awesome. So you guys are awesome, man. Don't let your condition define you. You could define, you define your condition. Those are words from my mama. She's always tell me that you become you become the leader of your own destiny in a productive way, and don't get caught up in the riffraff. But you guys have a great day, man, and just know Marquez love all y'all and stay focused. Goodbye. <laughs>